So peace. The Hood Mystic representing www.hoodmystic.com. The title of this video is Voodoo Explain. This is presented by hoodmystic.com. I am the Hood Mystic. Uh, so to donate to my channel, please go to patreon.com backslash hoodmystic, paypal.me backslash the hood mystic put a t-h-e in front of i'll have a link in the description cash app backslash um cash app hood mystic 38 uh if you want to get notifications to the daily energy readings that we'll do monday through friday make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell on youtube so peace everybody peace 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 um today we're just going to do a background on voodoo and what it means esoterically, uh, we're gonna use source information, and then I'm gonna elaborate. I'm gonna use personal story, a personal story of mine. It's not gonna be a long drawn out video. I'm just gonna hit up a couple sources and really just try to give you a more insight and more of a solution to maybe a personal problem or personal questions or any type of fear surrounding voodoo or what it is or what it isn't. Um, so be patient with me as we uh, go through this because this is kind of like a lot of work's been put into this. Let me take this do rag off one second, family. So yeah, I forgot about that. I meant to do that earlier. <laughs> but okay, so let's get into this. What is voodoo? What is it? I know it's a lot of stigmatism and I'll probably get some backlash for this and people might be like, yo, don't be messing with that because, you know, that's that's that devil worshiper. That's that crazy stuff, man. That's that voodoo. Uh, so <laughs> what is it, though? Generally, we're so afraid of stuff and we don't really understand what it means or what we're actually talking about. So. Vodan, voodoo, 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 voodoo is just more or less of a it's different things. It, it, it could be something to somebody and then something to somebody else. So you have to understand it for your own personal self and kind of do your research on what it actually is and where you're actually at. See, if you are in Western Central Africa, Voodoo or voodoo would be something completely different to a person like me in the middle of Ohio. So and how it actually speaks to you. So I'm going to get into like full details of how the spirits or the loa actually speak to you. But first, you have to have some background knowledge and kind of a separation of the information before you kind of just think of it as one thing, because if you think of it as just one thing, then you'll kind of the information will be kind of, you just be more confused rather. And so the first thing we wanna look at is Haitian voodoo. And so the first source that I'm pulling from is a blog called Black Religion America. And so the, the author goes, it's a good article, and I'll be sure to have the links of all my sources, all the books that I kind of pull from to put this video together. So that'll be in the description. So. Basically, Haitian voodoo is a religion. Haitian voodoo was formed out of a need, out of a necessity, and out of a particular sacrifice. So to be free, the Haitians had to make certain sacrifices with certain deities. And so when you look at Haiti and what happens to Haiti is more of a result of the religious system that they're under because Haiti is a small part of an island. In an imaginary line, you have the Dominican Republic that live a completely opposite existence. So you know that is more of a spiritual thing other than like racial or territorial or uh, where the land is at. It's more, it's a deeper spiritual thing. So uh, the quote is, when Haitian voodoo encountered Louisiana culture, a new tradition of voodoo was born. And so that's what more of this video is about, that new tradition of voodoo and how it may represent in your life and then no real kind of ways to pull it into your natural 
normal existence. And so voodoo with a capital V is not to be confused with voodoo with a lowercase v because the first is a religious tradition, whereas the latter denotes the occult and black magic. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. That's where I'm going to elaborate at on the occult and the more black magic side, the side that people are more afraid of. But I think that fear is based upon a lack of knowledge. So if I could espouse some knowledge, then maybe that fear could kind of get wiped away. Uh, so she goes on to say that Brown reveals how voodoo cosmology draws from a specific socio-political climate in which practitioners must accept the presence of suffering and use religion pragmatically. So pragmatically just means they have to use it for physical things. So they particularly have a bad situation and then pray to the loa or do offerings to the loa to get a better life. And so generally they have to keep doing this. They have to keep going through this cycle of suffering and getting better and all of that. But when it came to America, the thing kind of shift. So New Orleans, there's a lot of history, a lot of things that you can read about New Orleans, and I suggest you do that. But my understanding and my relationship with New Orleans isn't more literal or physical. It's very spiritual and more of a pull, more of a drive to get there. So New Orleans, the etymology of the word is taken from the Latin word Aurelius or Aurelia. So New Orleans really just represents the golden city. And gold is more of an alchemical term. More, more of a spiritual philosophical term more than it is a bunch of gold chains like a rapper. So if you think about the golden city and the energy that it transmit and all of the things that happen there from Hurricane Katrina to the music, to the energy. And if you ever been there or been drawn to been there, it's just a little bit different. And that is more from the energy of the sun, its position, how close it is to the equator and the energy that radiates from that place in that center. It's very, it's the golden city. And so I say that to say that two years ago, probably three years ago, I got introduced to this uh, tarot deck. Not by like seeing it on TV or anything, but somebody gave me a reading with the deck and I was like, the reading was so on point. And so, yes, true. <laughs> so I asked her what deck that was and it took me about a year to actually get the, got the deck, to get the deck. And so I got two decks and so we read the book and the book is 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 worth its weight in gold, even if you don't use the cards. And the cards are so good that you don't necessarily need the book, but you get both when you buy it. So it's an awesome purchase. But we me we got two decks, one for me, one for my wife. And uh we we uh so we just read the book, did the ritual. We did rituals for every card, didn't we? Pretty much like the, the major, like the major arcana to kind of open up the deck. We did a ritual for every card. We didn't have everything for the ritual, but everything that we could do and what we could substitute with, we put full sincerity and full effort into the sacrifice to the card. Uh, so maybe it was the deck, but we just knew like whenever we got some extra money or some extra time off work, because we were both working at the time, that we were going to go to New Orleans. And so that's what we did. Uh, we, we drove down to New Orleans, had a great time, like a wonderful time. Was this the first time or the second time we went? The first, first time we went. Okay. The first time we went. So you, we out of town. We don't know where, where we're going. We go, uh, so we just, uh, we just riding around. And I think my wife said, oh, we got to go to that Botanica. And I'm like, okay, bet. Because we, we hit up FNF. We hit up a couple other Botanicas or whatever. Got mad love. Got introduced to different people. It was beautiful. Like, beautiful. And then uh, we went to this other Botanica. 
walking around, talking shit. I'm like, yeah, I'll read Tarot, and I got this uh, book. I mean, I got this deck that I love, the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot. She like, oh, yeah? The lady that worked there, she like, oh, yeah? Well, I wrote it. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. But her address is in the book, but I don't know. We never put two and two together. Mm -hmm. And, um chopped it up with her and i don't know man from there she invited us to something and from there i kind of like that was so serendipitous that it just fueled my intuition to just follow it because that the experience was so beautiful the experience was so fulfilling but if I would have, nobody told me to go to New Orleans. It was pure of just following my intuition and reading the book and processing the book. And so what I'm about to do is kind of explain New Orleans Voodoo Tarot um, in a Cliff Notes edition, kind of like the first five pages of the book, <laughs> just to give kind of a gist of what we're actually talking about. I'm going to give you some, uh, hold on. I'm gonna give you some quick points and I'm gonna elaborate on those points and then we'll just move on. So this is more or less the meat and potatoes of the video. So if you do have a pen and a pad, these are some of the things that you wanna incorporate until you have like the extra 40 bucks to buy the book. Uh, so I suggest that you actually buy the book um, because it's a real person like really trying to like support herself through her art. So, you know, she got, she connected with an artist and yo, the cards are phenomenal like I don't even read those cards online because they're so personal but you definitely if you into yourself and your development and you want to get connected with your spirits because it's not about these quote-unquote spirits that exist out here in the world that are directing shit voodoo is more of an inner process and it is syncretized with all religions. So 9.5 times out of 10, if you went through a Christian system as a child, you probably went through a voodoo initiation because we're dealing with syncretism. Voodoo does not exclude, it includes. So there are no right or wrong ways, but some ways are more successful than others. This is a part of my magic series where I'm explaining different magical systems and telling you that, you know, there are different ways to do this magic, but the ways that you got to really pay attention to the chaos magic, you got to be a professional with your magic shit. You got to do this shit for real. Because it ain't no wrong way of how you do it. People like, you know, how should I do this? What should I do? Uh, should I buy this? Uh, what you be doing? I, f I do my teas that I make, the herbs that I burn, the candles, the orishas, everything that I got set up the, from whatever is from my own intuition, my wife's intuition. She used to do that at the beginning. She don't do that no more. She just do whatever. And that's why our relationship is so strong, because there is no right or wrong way. I can't tell her, babe, you need to do it like this. Babe, do it like that. Oh, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to light the candles with your left hand. Raise your hand up. Like, like so when you have all of these religious and political systems, that's like all these babblows and things of that nature, I'm not dissing or going against them, but I'm saying that may, if that's what you need, that's what you need. But if you feel not all the way connected with it, it's not really giving you the results, then that's where... The, that's where the magic is at because magic is all about results. The reason why my shit is set up the way that it is set up because it works for me. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm seeing, I'm doing, I'm experiencing growth because my magic is working. That's all I want. And so the next, the next point that I want to elaborate on is that the root workers and the dark magicians and the and the scary motherfuckers with the skulls and the voodoo dolls and all of that shit. That's more playing on your fear of death. 
since every human has a fear of death, then these systems play on that. So to get further in your magic, to get further in your spirituality, you have to understand your spiritual lineage. You have to understand yourself from this point, your past lives, your future lives, seeing intuition, foresight. You have to understand that because if you just simply think that you are this human being, then this conversation isn't for you. You need to cut this video off right now. This is not for the humans. So say for instance, somebody does want to kill the hood mystic. I'm so much more stronger in death. I will, I will, I will torture your whole existence for generations. <laughs> if you even think of harming a hair on my child's hair. Nobody is a more powerful root worker than you when you get in tune with your magic. So voodoo is an evolving complex system. It'll find you where you at. Cause all your magic is within you. This is a, this is a post lunar eclipse hood mystic. This is a whole different vibration. I'm always evolving. You might see me on ABC news with Ted Koppel in a couple weeks. You just never know it me. And if you ever see me successful, best believe it's because it is voodoo that we be working daily. You check my Instagram. That shit don't stop. And whatever I do, if I, if you see me working at McDonald's tomorrow, best believe it's some voodoo being done. If you see me at a bank, so all the people that's in systems or whatever the case may be, that's the part of your initiation. Cause your soul is having a whole initiation for you outside of what a priest can show you. Unless that priest has something to show you and you know it and you got to follow it. But if you don't, there is a solution outside of that. Voodoo is everywhere and then it's nowhere too. Cause a lot of this, cause a lot of this information before we went into this video, before we started to talk about it, you were unaware of it, but it's still been playing a major part in your life. Man, you can't escape voodoo. You need to look up the pizza gate with Hillary Clinton and all of them. We talking about, we talking about the whole world right now operating on a system. And you sleep and you unaware that they operating off your ignorance. Cause soon as you wake up, the empire falls. And this is not something that's like, oh, conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy theorists, the mystic. No, just look in history. Empires rise, empires fall. And what's the cause of the empire falling? They rot from within that root. There's always going to be somebody putting down major roots. There's always spiritual people doing all types of major shit. There's all types of spiritual wars and fights that go down. You go to sleep and then you find yourself at war. What you think that's about? <clears throat> so you got to align with your spirit and bring that into the reality. Voodoo is specific to a particular place and time. So as soon as you waking up to everything that you are, then your magic begins to activate. And then once you get into your human stuff, you sad and you know, you worried about this physical life. You scared that you're going to die. Your voodoo is done. You scared that you're going to get kicked out of your house. You scared that you lost your car. Man, you better get to walking. You better go to the shelter. You better figure it out because your voodoo don't stop. You can always go into the woods and light a candle. Everybody can do that. So whenever you want to get some shit popping, you can get some shit popping. So the low, uh, see, I'm not getting really into the definitions because you can go online and figure that shit out for yourself.
you can get these books and figure it out for yourself. I'm just kind of giving you some some different things that you can begin to look at, different things to expand your mind so you can understand this shit for yourself. Because it's not about what I'm doing or what I'm talking about or what I know. It's about what resonates or what wakens up your spirit. Because I need spirits to waken up so we can enjoy our lives together. Because this is all family. This is all prophecy. And it's all about waking up to yourself. So the loa of voodoo speak directly to the lives of the practitioners or the voodooists. The people who do the work, the people who are actually doing the sacrifices and sacrifices. I got a video on sacrifices. If you can check back into the archives. Sacrifices is not what you think it is. If you think it's something evil. Sacrifices is more to what you're actually connecting, what you're willing to do to connect to your spirit. This is just all representative to how I feel towards myself. And what you'll actually begin to see is that this energy begins to raise you up. It begins to give you the successes that you need. It's a difference between just wanting shit. See, Christian religion will have you praying to God or praying to the angels or praying to the saints. Voodoo will have you offering to the Orishas or to the Loas. Here goes some food. Here goes some drink. Here goes some weed. Here goes some smoke. I know you will like this. Here goes some fat pork or salt pork. And what should you give to the what should you give to the Loas? Connoisseur. Deep. Inner, it's a French word. That's why I said it like that. I told you I'm well versed. I'm all over the place with this shit. Connoisseur. Deep inner knowing. A deep inner connection to the vine. This is all you should be striving for out here in these streets. Period. Like post lunar eclipse hood mystic. Is only going to be ascribing to giving people deep inner knowing and deep inner connection to the divine. I've been playing with myself. And I ain't going to play with y'all. So before Africans get theyself in a hissy fit and get all tight lipped and say that this young boy don't know what he talking about, I'm going to put a root on him. Understand that this word voodoo is just a simple word that's been used throughout time, through centuries upon centuries throughout life. It's just it's just the occult. It is just the black magic. But the black magic is only black magic and fear based because you got fear or you want something that a person got. <laughs> you want to do a money spell so you can live like somebody that you seen. You don't. <laughs> so we got some sources here. From the one of the earlier the sources, voodoo or jadu is more of an institutional word that they give to people who deal with their energy. So they call it chance or you don't have a purpose. Or you dealing with luck. Jadu. That's a Hindu word. Jadu and, and voodoo are the same word. Same meaning. But what is it? And what's the solution and what's the remedy to the energy? Because of course you want things, you you feel you feel disconnected and you're trying to get cl you 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 going through some shit. And you may feel like somebody done put a root on you. Or the, the number one shit with the black community is I got a generational curse. Something is wrong. 
the the white man something is really wrong with these women they is so mean something is really wrong with these men i hate my job my mom hate that i'm conscious i could go on and on my daddy left me my kids don't listen i want them to listen but they don't listen Somebody must really got it out for me. Somebody must really hate me. And so this is the root. This is the cause. And we can go. Let me in another in another aspect to this jadu or voodoo that people are afraid of. Is that. You jealous. You envious. Period. You're not satisfied with your inner divine self. You want, you want, you want to be in the newest, freshest clothes. You want to drive a nice car at the end of the day, conscious or not. You just want to have sex, but you ain't getting no sex. So it's something wrong with these women and there's something wrong with these men. I got to go to a root worker and figure it out because it's why don't she want me? I work two jobs. It's a lot of inner work that needs to happen in the community and life in general in the world. So that's why I always have a platform. That's why I always have something to say, because no matter what, people are always going to externalize their energy. And from that, that is evil. And this is what creates the negative vibration towards Jadu or voodoo or why we think voodoo may be evil or why we may be scared of it because we are not fully in tune with self and we are afraid of what might bad could happen to us because we ain't did no clearing work we ain't did no alchemy we ain't did no self-reflection we ain't did nothing but want shit <laughs> we ain't never offered our riches nothing because we too busy wanting shit out of life to offer them sh if you stop wanting shit for 10 seconds 10 seconds and smoke a blunt with somebody and say thank you sometimes you ain't got shit but thank you i've been man no matter what i always got gratitude and they love it spirits love when you are grateful because that is an energy that will save your fucking life when you are at your worst place to just be thankful that is fucking comfy. At least the at least rock bottom is comfortable. And so I wanted to finish this video off with a, a remedy. Because as we deal with Jadu, which is a, a, a Hindu form of voodoo. So anytime we deal with Western thought, anything Western thought, there is an Eastern counterpart and we want, I don't say we want, you can just deal with Western thought all you want and be confused as fuck. But if you want to get deep, if you want to elaborate into whatever is going on in the Western world, you want to deal with the Vedic shit because it's older and it's more information. And it's outside of modern thought, which is good. Because modern thought is fucking your ass up on the daily. On the reg. So it's good to deal with this tantric Vedic thought. And so I just wanted to elaborate some points just from the heart. I kind of just freestyle some shit. And I just tantric versus modern thought. Tantric thought helps you figure out why some shit happened. Modern thought wants you to figure out how some shit happened because you already know why it happened. These niggas ain't shit. These niggas ain't shit. Some, these niggas need their mamas, their daddies. They need to take care of their kids. They need some money. They need to cut their damn hair, get some new shoes, pick you out, pick you up, show manners, but you're not even dealing with 
why niggas ain't shit. From your perspective. Because I know it's probably other women who feel differently towards men. Why do they feel differently towards men? Probably because they did some inner work and they're clear on the shit. So tantric thought is more of a causal to your whole entire being. Whenever we deal with Vedic thought and karma and dharma and moksha and all of these concepts, we're always trying to figure out what the fuck did we do wrong? What did I do wrong? What, how did I attract this into my life? And how could I do something differently? Not what did they do? That's modern thought. Modern thought attaches you to bodies, ideas, thoughts, places, buildings, children, carpet, couches, doors, fences. Seeing some people painting a fence earlier. Just whatever to do to get through the fucking day, I guess. Because it's like... You, you, could, you could be on a computer all day and just figure out the deepest processes to the computer and then what? Or y'all know everything about the earth, but don't know shit about yourself. Y'all know everything about a computer. Y'all know everything about every fucking thing. So smart. But you hurt and sad and mad and ready to protest and don't know nothing about your energy, nothing about your power. No, you don't even know where to go. You niggas be going to Cancun, Mexico, Florida, Las Vegas. Tantric thought is simply personal empowerment. Such as the old becoming the new, this New Orleans, this new gold body, this golden era type of energy that's on the planet. But you caught up in the media and what everybody else talking about, and you not really in tune to what the cosmos is saying or what's going on in the in in the planet. You only in tune to what people tell you to be in tune. Oh, six nine got robbed. Fifty million views, billion views. Drake dropped a new CD. But then when it comes to personal development, you have no answers. Still the same shit. Still wanting to get that big ass house. Still doing that goddamn money spell. Still doing that goddamn love spell. Still trying to get some prosperity in your life. Trying to get some abundance in your life. And you want it because the external is going to be rewarded. But what do you want personally? What is your truth? What is your honesty? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice? So Tantra just simply means, Sava Tantra just means independent. A person who has his own warp, his own cloth. He's his own promoter, his own weaver, his own controller of his karma. See, I went left when you thought I was going to go right, but I went right. That's the key. Most niggas just go left because you expect them to go left and they just want, you expect me to talk about Orisha and Oshun all goddamn day. Well, we done did that already. That's all we do. So if you want to know about the Orishas and all of that, just look at my goddamn videos. That's all I fucking do. But this is more or less of a different turn of where we going with this page, where we going with this content and, and what we're talking about. And so this is really the source of my transformation. And so I'm just sharing the information. And so I do, we still doing the readings. Everything is going. Make sure you uh, look up www.hoodmystic.com and look up the readings and consultations tabs for prices and availability. And um, you can schedule there and do all types of cool stuff. So check out the website over here. It's some reviews and testimonials and things of that nature. You can look at these in full detail at the website, www.hoodmystic.com backslash testimonials. Um, 
But yeah. Donate to my PayPal account. PayPal.me backslash the hood mystic. And I said PayPal, but I really meant to say Patreon. Patreon.com backslash the hood mystic. Uh, I'm thinking about doing voodoo pools there exclusively. Let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know what y'all think about this video. I know it ain't what y'all expected, but it's all one thing. Like I said, voodoo does not exclude, it includes. So I could have just started singing a Kirk Franklin song or something right now, and it still would have been voodoo. I would have been stomping on some niggas real quick. So you just never know who's doing the voodoo because once you get in tune with yourself, then you'll be you'll be doing the voodoo and you'll be taking control of your life. You'll be independent. You'll be empowered. So that's more or less what I'm doing with these readings. That's more or less what I'm doing with this energy. I'm empowering people spiritually and I'm doing it every single day. This is not a game. This is not something that I play with. I don't got the time to just sit up and make up fake reviews. These is real ass people that I do not know that just hit me up see my video just like y'all and hit me up and we did business so um that interests you make sure you hit me up at hoodmystic at gmail.com this has been a long video a lot of information but it was super light though i could have went super hard but you know how people be you don't want to do a five hour video they get bored i'll get bored talking so i think this was good what you think babe cool all right, let's do it, baby. Peace to all the souls, all the gods, all the goddesses. I say to all the Orishas, known and unknown. We so grateful for your energy and your posterity in our lives to just be always there for us when these niggas turned our backs. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas turned their backs on us, but we good, though. <laughs> But peace, y'all, man. This is the Hood Mystic. Y'all have a wonderful night, wonderful day, wherever this video finds you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, man. Have a good one. Peace.